guess the most exciting time for me on Sesame Street were the 80s when uh, I got married and had a baby on the show. And actually, Maria's life was m mirroring my life because I did fall in love in reality and I did get married and, uh, the and I was going to have a baby. I wanted to have children and the producers thought it would be interesting if Maria was also married and had a baby. Also, then we wouldn't have to stop taping or anything. <laughs> so uh, I had another, once again, I had parallel lives after being a kid and being in, you know, being on a bicultural tightrope, then living two lives. I was doing it as Maria and Sonia. And what about the, the choice to marry Luis on the show? Is that, was that the only opportunity? Were the other people considered? Uh, no, no one else was considered. We both worked in the fix-it shop. Um, seemed like a good match. Uh, I love the way Jeff Moss um, wrote the script that had us falling in love. And that was that um, he, nur uh, Luis nurtures a sick kitten. And I, uh, I see this quality in him that I never noticed before and that makes me love him. As opposed to the old days in, the, in old movies where a girl like, sort of takes her clip out of her hair or, or takes her goofy glasses off and all of a sudden he sees her as a different person and they fall in love when, when they've known each other for 30 years. <laughs> so uh, we, that's how we did it on the show. And then I was able to, because I had just fallen in love, I was able to write about all those experiences for a little, uh, a little kid to understand. And I remember when I decided to, Richard, to marry Richard, we would say, we would plan things together. We would say, this is in reality, we would say, oh, we really should, my husband's an avid fisherman, we should really fish these waters. Oh, that's a good idea. Oh, you know, I've always wanted to go to blah, blah, blah. And oh, you know, I've always wanted to go to blah, blah. Well, we really should. I mean, we had planned so many activities. We were going to be together for at least 10 years before we finished all of them. And I wrote that with for me and uh, Emilio slash Luis. We were going to have pizza together and we'd go to, you know. And, and one romantic thing that happened in my real life was that my husband read Charlotte's Web to me out loud. <laughs> and I had, uh, we had a reading curriculum on the show and I had Luis read to me. Because it's so nice to be read to sometimes. So I was able to sort of use things that really happened to me into Sesame Street scripts by breaking complex emotions like love, marriage, childbirth into something a four-year-old can understand. Yeah, for childbirth, for instance, how would you do that from a curriculum basis? Well, they wanted, they come up with the curriculum. The show comes up with the curriculum and they wanted the child to know that having a baby was something that two adult people decided to do. You couldn't have the I Love Lucy Honey, I'm pregnant. How did that happen? That's giving an absolutely wrong <laughs> impression to kids, like it just happens to you. Well, it doesn't just happen to you. Two adult people decide they want to love a baby and they get together and have a baby. So that was one of our, our goals and that was uh, uh, written into the show where we explained to Big Bird that that's what's going to happen. Did you explain the physical? Part of it, I well? can't remember if we did. You mean like if we did the daddy puts sperm and and uh, I don't think something tells me we didn't. It's not the Sesame Street kind of way. Um, I'm sure it was discussed, but I think that at that age you could say those words to a kid and they'll go okay, but it it doesn't really mean anything to them. So I don't think we did it that way. Doesn't seem humorous. <laughs> what about the child growth itself? Uh, I had a sonogram on the show. I nursed on the show. Uh, I wrote 
the show where Maria goes into labor, which I shared with my favorite character, Oscar the Grouch, because of course we couldn't get a cab, and he has to take me in his sloppy jalopy. Um, and uh, the first character that I spoke to after giving birth was Oscar the Grouch, and I had a fun time uh, writing that little bit of, of dialogue. Because I, I realized when I had Gabriella that the world changed for me. Babies change everything. They change the way you look at the world. They change the way you look at yourself. So I wanted to write a, a bit that said that. And Oscar calls me up and he asks me how my birth went. And I, you know, he says, how did everything come out? <laughs> Okay, Oscar, and he's, he's upset. I said, why are you upset, Oscar? I don't know. I'm like, happy for you. And I was able to say, that's okay, Oscar, you know, because babies change everything. <laughs> uh, it was great. I had a great time at that time putting, I was feeling so much, and, and I had a, a forum to put all these feelings and thoughts into.